think we were tired, but we were ecstatic, just so happy to bring these people back and, uh, you know, get that check in the box that I, I don't think I would have been able to sleep at night knowing these gentlemen were out there and, you know, we hadn't gotten them yet. Tonight we are hearing from Coast Guard rescuers who saved three local fishermen who were floating in shark infested waters off the coast of Plaquemines Parish. The men were adrift and fending off sharks after their boat took on water. Good evening everyone and thanks for watching. I'm Katie Moore and I'm Sharice Gibson and I'm sure that this is a story that they're going to tell for the rest of their lives. They spent more than a day in the Gulf before the Coast Guard arrived. Paul Murphy joining us in studio with this incredible survival story that that's just hard to believe. Yeah. Sharice Katie, the first thing we should say is this was great work on the part of the Coast Guard that, that from uh, parts of the Gulf Coast. We're talking about Mobile, uh, Corpus Christi here in uh, New Orleans. And, uh, and you'll hear uh, from fishermen who did a lot also to increase their chances of making it back to their loved ones alive. Three friends from Harvey spent 28 long hours in the Gulf of Mexico, 25 miles offshore. They had engine problems and their boat sank. One of the men, Lun Wynn, shot this video as he and the other boaters were floating in shark infested waters. While Wynn and the others waited to be rescued, Coast Guard Lieutenant Commander Kevin Keefe was on shore coordinating efforts to find them. That initial search area was roughly the size of Rhode Island. It took about three hours to determine the 24 foot fishing boat launched from Delta Marina in Empire early Saturday. The men were reported missing Sunday morning. As the Coast Guard worked to narrow the search area, there was a break in the case. A mobile phone belonging to one of the missing boaters suddenly found cell service. The individual was able to fire off a text saying, hey, my boat sank, I'm floating in the middle of the Gulf, and he sent a screenshot of his Google Maps display with his, uh, with his position icon on. Unfortunately, the text did not include the GPS coordinates. But the Coast Guard was able to use Google Earth and other geographical reference points to determine within two nautical miles where the men were located. A fixed wing plane spotted them. Lieutenant Katie Carraway was the co-pilot of the Jayhawk helicopter that rushed to the location. The first thing that I noticed were jellyfish, actually. There were plenty of jellyfish around. But she said rescue boat crews at the scene also reported sharks in the water. That there were four sharks swarming the individuals and that they had been fighting off sharks with their hands and uh, there was evident it was evidenced by a life jacket on one of the individuals that had been torn uh, apart by a shark. Lun Wynn gave details about his frightening encounter with the shark. The head part went in front of me and a shark just out of nowhere picked the vest. I tried to push the, push the shark and then I tried to push his nose. The three boaters were lifted into the helicopter around one Sunday afternoon. Rescue swimmer Petty Officer Richard Huffel said the men did a lot to increase their chances of survival. They recognized the peril of their situation. They put on their life jackets, they grabbed their cell phones and they reached out for help. Uh, and they tied themselves together and they tied themselves to floating objects. The Coast Guard crew called the rescue extremely rewarding. I got to see all three uh, of, the, of the patients come back into the helicopter realized that all three of them had survived. They all looked each other in the eye and said, oh my God, we all made it. And uh, they gave each other big hugs. And then, they and then they fell asleep. They fell asleep just because they were so exhausted. And the family of one of the men runs the Olive Branch R Cafe. They reached out to us uh, to share their um, gratitude. They say the staff at uh, Delta Marina went above and beyond, and they are so thankful for the Coast Guard. They're offering free meals to all Coast Guard members for the rest of the week. I know that they're, they're thankful to the Coast Guard members. Paul, thank you so much. Again, a story that they will probably tell for the rest of their lives.